Hey guys, good day. So today I'm going to be concentrating on the van build again. But right now, you guys can take a look at what we did on the last day in Canada. It was a fun day. It was a Phoenix day. And uh, yeah, you guys can watch that. I'll continue with the build. Good morning, guys. It is time to go home, or at least it's time to start leaving the B&B. &B. Oh, I hate it when vacation's over. So I'm not sure if we ever made a proper like tour of this. So this is somebody's basement and this was done so very, very well. The whole thing was decorated. The whole thing is very comfortable. It's new, it's clean, it's modern. So that was Phoenix's room. And then this is the living room here. And right outside of the living room is the front door. And that right there is the hot tub. And we took a dip last night too. We've got a TV. We've got hair makeup station over here. Just kidding. Um, this we've got refrigerator, stove, washing machine for the dishwasher, microwave, espresso machine. I'm not sure I ever did a proper walkthrough of everything. It's kind of unfortunate you didn't do it when we got here because we've messed it up since we've been here. <laughs> well, we, it was super, we didn't. We was, are clean compared was, to other people. But it was cute and presentable when we got here, and it would have been cool if you'd taken it around. Uh, yeah, I know. And then this then is. We a, have the bathroom, Tide pods that are not edible. I don't think that's Tide. I think it might be Kirkland. Oh well. <laughs> don't eat pods the pods. Pods that are not edible, but they <laughs> they look like it and you feel like it. This They're keeps tripping me out though because Angie is like petrified of spiders. I don't have my glasses on, so I, I, I keep I keep looking at it too. Yeah, it's just the tag from the shower, but I keep thinking it's like, oh my gosh, there's a chip in it. But very nice, very modern. Have you done this yet, today? I did that before I got in. Excellent. We'll put it away. So All right. So we're uh, getting everything ready, and we're going to be getting out of here. We're going to. Uh, be going and looking at some of Angie's old stomping grounds. She used to work at a video store and the video store was sold years ago and I don't think it is a video store anymore. We're just going to film the day as it goes. Do some uh, reminiscing on Angie's part. Reminiscing on your part. Reminiscing on my part? Yeah. Some of your old stomping grounds and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go, um, I mean, You've seen it, but he hasn't seen Bridal Falls. Really oh, before. oh yeah, that's right. So Bridal Falls, we'll see TJ one more time. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. If you watch the whole video, you'll see it. Yeah, you can just... Stop. Stop. <laughs> so here's also the view from the outside. So our place is like downstairs. Very, very nice neighborhood. Beautiful neighborhood. Surrounded by mountains. I know there's a bunch of clouds now. But we are literally surrounded by mountains. <laughs> It's so beautiful. No trip to Canada would be complete without a stop at Timmy Ho's. And we're going to introduce Phoenix to Timbits. Oh. 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 So many good things. He really likes the croissants. That's my old house right there. That's your old house? Yep. Wow. That's it. That's wow. Angie's old house. Wow. Oh, they took out half the landscaping. Wow. Hmm. Except all of that, all those houses didn't exist. That was all forest. My kids used to play in the forest all the time. Oh, all we had really? behind us was forest. That is all All new. that, she says, is new. This is around the block that Coda used to walk all the time around the block. We'd go three or four times around the block to get enough of a walk-in. <laughs> Timbits are about 80 calories each, just so everyone knows. <laughs> mm, Timbit. There you go. Halt. Choose wise. Oh, he took the sprinkly one. It's a wee baby donut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I had known, I would have said no plane. Actually, mm. you probably liked a plane, huh? I do. All right. All right, here we go. Timmy Hoge. So Angie says that she also, also lived, lived there. in that White House. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our next stop is Bridal Falls. That guy's parked Why is badly. everybody standing around like something happened? They're waiting for something. Is there a bear? I hope so. You 
hope so. I mean, it actually kind of would be neat to see a bear. Oh, there you guys go. Right nice view of the, of the rest. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <sighs> At least they look new. <laughs> On the list, yeah. tour guide. What time is it? Uh, I don't know. 1140. Um, we'll head into Chimalac now. So what, what are we doing next? We're just gonna do a little walk around the uh, downtown area. And then what's next? And then we're gonna go to another place. <laughs> and then what's next? And then we're gonna go to TJ's, TJ's house. Then what's next? Then we're going to go to the border. Then what's next? Then we're going to go home. Continuing with the build. So I've taken these two pieces out. This is one that I, I got uh, did last night. I cut this one last night. I have marked for up and down. <laughs> and then also I've marked the line on where to attach it. I have drilled all my screws and I have like pretty thick screws or pretty long screws going into this in a, a few different places. I didn't have a whole lot of those. So there are some uh, shorter screws in there too. But this is like, man, this is like one piece right here. I can't even bend it, which is good. But I'm not sure it fits in here. So we're gonna see about trying to fix, put this into place. What complicates this is that the floor is a little bit higher. So this actually goes into like a step where the floor isn't like right next to the wall so it kind of recesses down so i'm just hoping if everything works right this should just slide into place i hope that's that one um, i think that might work so through every step of the way, I have been reinserting the screws and just to make sure that this is going to work. That one's good. That one's good. <laughs> All of them are good except the original one. What is going on here? All right. Well, with a little bit of convincing. <laughs> And making sure I don't strip out. I, I've been calling them speed nuts. Speed. Gosh, I can't even speak today, so you have no idea what I've been calling them. I've been calling them speed nuts, and they're not. That's the improper term. Uh, they are called rivet nuts. So nobody's corrected me on that, so none of you knew it anyway. But anyway, so yeah, that's the correct term on these rivet nuts. 
Um, you want to make sure you don't strip these out because that would be very bad. So I was very careful with that one. Um, so it's not tight right now, but all of these are attached. This is attached here. I'm making sure, even though it's a rough cut, all this is going to be painted black. You're not going to be able to see things too much, and it's going to be covered anyway by the compressor and stuff. I'm leaving all of these exposed in case I have any problems in the future. I can go and take care of them without having to pull everything out of here if uh, something loosens up, even though I've been using uh, Loctite and, when available, uh, nylon or lock washers. Nylon nuts, lock washers to... Uh, Make sure this stuff doesn't rattle apart. All right, so I guess, with that being said, um, I guess I need to figure out my next pieces. Stopping at Walgreens for Patreon photos. Awesome photos that we had printed from our trip to Canada. That's all I'm gonna say. If you're not a Patreon, you're never gonna know what they are. So, let's see if they have any Halloween stuff. Oh, there we go. Halloween has started. Oh, look at all the candy corn. Oh my gosh. Halloween has begun. Well, this will be interesting. Let's look to see if they fixed that uh, water meter leak from yesterday. Oh, look at that. It's fixed. I don't know what they did. Maybe they just turned it off. Because it looks like it's on the customer's side of the... Um, meter which means that it's the customer's responsibility <laughs> so maybe Washington State Employees Credit Union won't have any water Monday who knows feel bad about that but at least it's not being wasted I just got through using the laser level so no matter what this line looks like or what the lines here look like this piece and that piece are level Sure doesn't look like it, <laughs> but I guess they are, and that's important. So a compressor goes uh, right there, like I said. Um, this piece will come back off. That piece will stay back on. That screw right there will end up coming off because when I take this off, I will uh, screw it from the back side um, so that I can paint everything. I want to paint as much of this and attach as much of this as possible. So when I get the plywood shelf on here, I'm actually going to drill down right here. So this, these walls will be in place when this shelf gets put on there. Um, and then I got to figure out other things. There's also a wall piece that will go up here and yeah, so it's starting to take shape. And I guess the hardest thing about any project is just getting started. And I will tell you that trying to figure this out was such a pain in my butt. I was extremely frustrated, but I did it. I did it, and also I cut the other side too. So the other side is already cut. I'm not dealing with the other side right now, but the other side like this is already cut and done. So once I get to that side, things should go a lot quicker. I know nothing looks straight or anything, but we're getting it done. I have to switch gears. There are some parts for this van that I need to go and get up in Bellevue, which is an hour and a half away. I need to jet there get my parts and get back because I need to get working on this. Tomorrow's Monday. It's a work day. Pick Phoenix up at nine o'clock, but it's still a work day. Well, here's something that's kind of special. I just got off the phone uh, talking with Bill Gibson, who is the owner of Christine, the movie car. Granted, there are a couple more uh, Christines out there now, but when he started, he's like, he's the staple. He's the one that's uh, been there for, for many, many years. In fact, uh, Many years ago when we went to Crypticon and Christine was there, he was there. <laughs> I didn't know it at the time, but I got my picture taken with Christine and I also bought a t-shirt. So I have purchased something from him. It's kind of like a full circle right now. Anyway, uh, talk to him about uh, Mama Fratelli's ORV and Comic-Cons and Crypticons, uh, conventions and insurance and transportation and what to expect and what to do and how to do it. So that was really cool. It's really cool that he took the time out to uh, to talk with me. And we've been trying to meet up uh, for like uh, several weeks now. And uh, his life's been crazy. My life's been crazy. But finally, we were able to connect. Come to find out, he has talked to Mark Worman before. They're actually kind of uh, acquaintances. Uh, Mark Worman, in case you're familiar with that name, is the... Basically, I think the creator of Graveyard Cars in Oregon. And yes, we interviewed Mark and his crew 
back in the day before he was even like really big. So that was really cool. So everything's coming full circle right now. Uh, and I'm just about ready to get these parts. Um, there was a change of uh, venue. I was going to go to the place where the vehicle was, and now I'm going to the person's house, which I really wish that I would have been able to look at the vehicle to see if there's anything else that I might have needed from it. So I don't know. I'll talk to him and kind of get a, a feel for if there's any other parts. But I'm like just about out of gas right now, too. Uh, let's see. 21 miles still empty. My gas light's on and my needles on E. <laughs> And of course, I wait till I get to Bellevue to get gas, which is about a dollar more per gallon than it is in Lakewood. I was going to get gas today when I uh, got the Patreon photos, and I'm like, eh, my appointment's not that far from the house. I don't need gas. And then I totally forgot about this endeavor that I'm going, or uh, this task that I'm taking today. Oh, there's a Tesla. I'm seeing a lot of Teslas. I got my gear shift bezel, and I got my wheel cover, or center cap, basically. So I go to get back in my car and I open the door and it's having a chime that I've never heard before going bing, 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 bing. And I'm like, well, that's weird. The keys are not in the ignition. I just opened the door. I didn't set the alarm or anything. And then I go and I sit down in the car and I close the door. And soon after I close the door, it starts doing double time and going bing, 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 bing. Kind of like an alarm is going to go off or something. So I hit the unlock button and everything was fine. That's never happened before. It's so weird. Anyway, whew, I got my gear shift bezel, bezel. This right here is like awesome because I didn't have to go and buy the whole gear shift assembly, which everybody else, nobody else wanted to part with just that piece. Okay, gas, and then back home. Don't get hit, gas, back home. Don't get hit, gas, don't get hit, back home, don't get hit. So sometimes, the difference between having a junker and having a nice vehicle are the little things. There we go. Look at that. Oh, it's much better. If it comes off again, which I don't think it will, if it comes off again, then, uh, oh, that's so nice. Uh, then I'll use some glue to glue it on. But there we go. There's one part. The other part is a wheel cover. I have one, two, and missing this one there's three so yeah i was like this when i got it so there's the one that we just got i want to throw this on and then uh yeah that'll be two parts down that we don't need anymore <laughs> Well, I figure, well, I've got this off to go ahead and check the brakes. Look, this brakes are brand new. I haven't driven it and it's been moist. So moist, oh my goodness. It's been damp. That's almost the same as moist, damp. Still don't like moist. Anyway, uh, brakes are new. The only reason why there's rust on there is because it has been a little wet outside. And uh, so front and rear brakes are good. And uh, yeah, all right. I just wanted to take a look and see what we got going on here. Tire. Wheel cover. Wheel cover, uh, the lug nuts have to come off to put the wheel cover on. Since Dodge employs the use of um, bolts instead of lug nuts, um, it is nice to have these alignment tabs on there so you're not trying to put a bolt in and having the, the rotor or the wheel like go all over the place. So, all right, there we go. Here's this. And uh, I think that there should be, yeah, this bottom one right here. So if you put a, put a lug nut on there, actually put that on zip it to hold this right here is actually larger than the rest of them and there's no alignment on this so it doesn't matter which position it goes in <clears throat> that should fit right over that and now you can go and put the other ones on without having to contend with the tire being all loose there. oh so much better All right, there we go. What I'm about ready to do should not be attempted by anybody, anytime, anywhere. So, compressor, I need to test fit it up here, make sure my height is correct. This handle will be coming off of it. It will be stabilized and held in place down below on both wheels, and then there's two mounts at the front. 
that I will hold down or make sure that they're held down on here. Uh, this, this is just like my brake tool, my hood prop. Um, yeah, so I'm just hoping that it holds everything on here. I have this tacked into place and uh, one screw in each corner, so it shouldn't go anywhere. And uh, yeah, let's see if this thing fits. Here we go. You know, because it's nice and light. Okay, height is good. Height is beautiful. Height is amazing. Now, this will also be, can you guys see it on here? You can't see it on here. This will also be stabilized by the piece that'll be down here too. So this right here will be uh, braced rather, stabilized, braced, whatever, but yeah, there we have it. So yeah, the handle's coming off. So I need to make this like right here. That's where I need that. Now that I have this stuff right here constructed, um, we are going to take everything down. We're gonna take everything down and this comes off. This stays on this piece. That stays on this piece. And yeah, those two stay attached. I'm excited, it's starting to come together. I'm moving a little faster now because I have direction. I, I have something here that I can work with. Alrighty, so guess what? I actually interviewed Christine Carr's owner. So I talked to him today, but back in 2014, I actually interviewed him. What, and you didn't know? I didn't, I didn't remember. So anyway, uh, the rest of the Canadian footage, I'm gonna uh, edit tomorrow. It's already one o'clock in the morning and it's taking me, of course, I blah, 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 edit time, blah, 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 long time, blah, 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 tired, blah, 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 need to go to bed, blah, blah, blah. So happy haunting, blah, blah, blah. See you guys tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. Good night. Good night.